Okay, I'm back. My daughter came and we had tossed salad and chicken and strawberries and homemade cookies. But she had to go to work and so now I am going to finish showing you what I got at the flea market. I'll just go quickly through the rest of this box with the recipes and stuff. But first, I want to show you this little Happy Mail that I got which I haven't opened yet. Well, obviously I opened the envelope because I didn't know what it was. But it was um, one of my subscribers says that she, it's uh, Debbie Franks. Is it Debbie or Deborah? Um, she enjoys my videos on my journals and notebooks and it, it inspired her to start making them, which she really, really enjoys. And now she goes to antique malls and flea markets and thrift stores about once a week. And so she's excited about that. And so she um, sent me this to thank me for the inspiration. And that was so nice. I, that's what I do these videos for, to help inspire other people. And because I am so inspired by the videos that I see. So she sent me this neat little bundle of items to see. I want to see what's in them. So this is a little card. It has a peanut on it. Oh, it doesn't open. But one of these papers that she sent is this says this is the story of the peanut cards. <coughs> All this flea market stuff always makes me sneeze. So I'll have to read that to see the story behind this little peanut card, but isn't it adorable? He's adorable. Um sunflower. Oh, these are nice. Does that say sunflowers? It doesn't look like a... Oh yeah, there it is. Sunflower. Duh. I was looking down here for the sunflower. These are cool. It's kind of like a... Kind of like a handmade craft paper. It's got more... Um, flex in it. Ooh, look at this! Vintage recipe cards. Or at least vintage images, but they feel... They don't feel new. Oh, wow. And the dividers. I will definitely use everything that you sent me, Deborah. And this is a postcard. Looks like a vintage two cent postcard. Maybe it's not vintage. I don't know how much postcards cost anymore, but I, don't, I think it's more than two cents. So there's several of those. Very, very cool. Thank you. I will definitely use them. That was so nice of you. Now, let's conclude this box. There's another little recipe booklet from a cornstarch brand. Handwritten card. Recipe on the back of a butter box. I don't think I'll keep that. It's just packaging from a smoke alarm. Okay, this is a folder. This might not be recipes. Oh, it is. I'm turn it around. Here's a recipe written on the outside of this flower, again, without telling us what the recipe is for. What is this? Random House Reading Program. Oh, that's cool. And then recipes. <clears throat> recipe, recipe, recipes all through there. This is in purple, so this was probably a... Uh, what did we call those back in school with the purple print? Um, was it Ditto? I think it was Ditto. All of our favorites. Recipe book. No matter where I turn this, it always ends up upside down. 
I did see these in this folder before I bought the box and I was interested in these. I had something very similar to this from a flea market a couple years ago which was um, sewing and you would get one of these a month with sewing instructions and things like that in them but this one is a cookbook so it's got recipe pages and there are two of the envelopes in this. That's really cool. I like those. Okay, there's that, and there's one more older thingy with more recipes. I don't know how anybody could handle stuff like this without it being organized. This would drive me nuts. Look at these labels, these stickers. That's cool, I'll use them. This would have driven me nuts. I can't see that anybody would be able to actually use the recipes when they're in this state. I like this. That's cool. Oh, more of those stickers. And more. And more. I wonder what they're for. I've never seen stick. Well, there's just little little squares and then there's a rectangle at the end. Some of these things aren't worth saving so I will have to really go through and clear things out and keep what's worth keeping and oh, put some of it up for sale in my shop. The last thing in here is fruit recipes, Better Homes and Gardens. It was copied. It was all photocopied and then bound together. Let's get to the fabric, shall we? Oh, sorry, I just dropped that box on the floor. All right, now these fabrics I did pick out, they were all in a box and it said a dollar a piece for everything in this box. So each of these fabrics was one dollar, but they are big pieces and they're vintage. So I will be doing vintage fabric bundles. I'm going to be doing laundry today, washing up all this fabric. But I like this vintage uh, gingham, large gingham with tulips printed on it. It's a quite good size piece. This Christmas piece, poinsettias and pine cones. I'll be listing some of that. I didn't take everything that she had. I just picked out the ones I really liked. This one is a heavy fabric, almost like a twill, but it's really pretty. I love that. It would make good covers. And spines. This one's pretty. I love that. It's a drapery fabric. And then there's this gauzy type summery colors really nice and I love this one too this reminds me of a sheer curtain with the kind of a window pane design pretty purple flowers so those were a dollar each so that was six dollars yeah, six dollars for all of that fabric. This little bag was a dollar, and I didn't look through it. I just saw embroidered stuff on both sides. I knew it was worth a dollar just for that, so I grabbed it. So what do we have here? A napkin or a handkerchief with a little applique in the corner. Two of those. And... Looks like a towel, tea towel or something with this embroidered design. It's a pretty color. Little embroidered dresser scarf. How pretty. So I see one, two, this one has a this one is a little bit stained, but it's not very dark. 
three, three of those. Very nice. This one has a little bit of staining too. Oh, this is pretty. I love the colors. This one is a long dresser scarf and there's this design on both ends. Very pretty and pastel. And this pretty edging all along, all around it. Can't believe she sold all this for a dollar. This is a printed handkerchief. And this is just a plain napkin. It's got a little bit of edging. Oh, this one is some sort of a pillowcase, it looks like. Pillow sham for a small pillow. It's not homemade. It has a label on it. It's very pretty. Oops, trying to get in front of the lens properly. And this one looks pretty vintage. I think this kind of um, work is called, I just, ha I just had it in my head as soon as I saw it and now it's gone. Hard Hardinger or something like that. But it's got that on all four corners. This is a pretty good size piece. Looks like a table topper. And there's just this shiny, maybe it's a pocket square, I don't know. No, I don't. Looks like Trico, that wouldn't be a pocket square. This one is just a linen piece with fringe. On, oh, it's got a design. This would be great as the base for a um, fabric and lace cover journal, just to um, put this on the cover and then put your laces and things on, on top of it. Ooh, look at this lace that's, or this embroidery that, what am I trying to say? Crochet, tatting, whatever. It's all around the edge of this. It's a lot, there's a lot of it too, because it's a long table runner. And it, I don't see any stains on this. This is in good shape, but you can tell it's old. Then we have this fillet crochet. Oh, there's a horse. Can you see the horse? Little pony. That is adorable. Oh, I like this. Whatever it is, it didn't get finished because the edges are still all raw, but it has fruit and flowers embroidered in the squares, cross-stitch. That's adorable. Oh, excuse me. I already took an allergy pill, but these um, dusty books and papers and fabrics get to me. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love that. That was worth a dollar, that bag. And then these two <coughs> large sacks were a dollar each. I'm going to put one on the floor right next to me and start pulling stuff out. I pulled this out while my daughter was here because the figures on it caught my eye. We were both a little puzzled by it. It's very strange. It has these fashionable figures on it and it just has weird words. Wear, view, fun. I think it says fashion on it somewhere. But won't these be fun in a junk journal? I think this is great. I wouldn't have wanted to make clothing or curtains out of it, but it's great for a junk journal. What is this? Now remember, I didn't look through these bags at all. This one, okay. It's pretty, it's like a bandana design. 
okay so I could cut these squares out but it it got cut weird if there's the long the, the large piece and then there's these long legs attached to it but I will cut those squares out and they can go in my uh, vintage fabric bundles <clears throat> And there's this blue stripe. Looks like there's quite a bit there. Oh, this is pretty. I like that. This is great for Christmas journals. It's not a very big piece. Well, yeah, it's bigger than I thought. Just for doing pockets and flips and collages, this will go a long way. So I'll probably be doing um, some Christmas journal kits. Some of that will go in there. Oh, here's more Christmas fabric. <clears throat> this is Partridge in a Pear Tree. Looks like something was cut out of it. Like clothing. Somebody was going to make clothing with this. And that's backwards. When I first picked this up, the first thing I saw was a shoe. Where'd the shoe go? I thought I saw a shoe, but I don't. I guess I don't know what I was looking at. Oh, it's cut out in a Christmas tree shape. That's what it is. So it looks like a panel. It was a printed panel. You were supposed to cut out and sew a tree. <laughs> well, that's different. And I don't see a shoe, so I don't know what I thought. Maybe it was a dove I thought was a shoe. Okay, then we have this candy cane stripe. Isn't that cute? I love that. I can't wait to get these all washed and ironed and looking great. This looks like some homespun, some blue and white homespun. Um, more Christmas fabric. Little tree squiggles. I don't know what this is. Wool felt. <gasps> oh. oh, marvelous. Marvelous. This will go in my uh, domestic arts journals. I think this is a garment, but I love that vintage rose fabric. Let me just hold this up, see what it is. Yeah, it's some sort of a dress, I think. But I love that fabric. I don't think the dress was never finished. Didn't have a zipper put in it. This is a heavier fabric. I love these bags. This is a heavier fabric with this nice yellow. Some of those heavier fabrics will be nice for uh, uh, putting on the, your spines. This one is kind of like a crepe. Not my favorite, but I suppose it's a pretty color palette. There's quite a bit here too. Yeah, it does have a pretty watercolor look to it. these pretty crocheted buttons. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, that's cute. Just a small piece of an apple. It's a heavy fabric. Apple print. It's cute. I don't know about you, but I'm having fun. This is vintage tissue paper. Oh no, it's Pellon, the iron-on stuff. I'll use that in my domestic arts journals too. That's pretty old. This is polished cotton, I think. Pretty neutral color and there's a pretty good size piece here. Kind of a fleshy peach color. Mm, this looks like, feels like curtain material, but it's in squares. So I can cut that up into the squares. Pretty flowers. That would be nice 
I think it's the right size that you could turn into a uh, traveler's notebook insert maybe. You'd have to sew it on top of something sturdier because it's kind of a sheer curtain fabric. But it's really pretty. All those flower designs are gorgeous. Oh, I love the poppy. And the bulbs, crocus bulbs. That's nice. Just a little piece of mint green. Uh, blue double knit. Not a fan of double knit. And blue cotton knit that you would make t-shirts out of. Good piece, good size piece of that too. What would you do with double knit, polyester knit, and um, cotton knit? You tell me what you would do with them. Oh, okay, what do we have here? Okay, it's initials. M-E-F-84. Little hand patchwork. That's cute. I like that. And there's one more piece in this bag, and it's more of that same yellow. So there's quite a bit of that. Okay, that's one bag. I'll put some of this back in the bag and I'll look at the other bag. Oh, this came with that cigar box full of stuff too. A needle book. Okay. Oh, I like this one little tiny calico print. Now I gather in the UK when you guys say calico it looks like muslin to me so I don't know what you call these kind of prints. We call that off-white fabric muslin. This is a polyester knit but it's kind of that polished kind. When I was making my own clothes as a teenager this stuff was popular. I made Myself, a few dresses, not with this pattern, but with different patterns. And I liked those dresses. There's a gingham. That's pretty. I love gingham. There's quite a bit there. This one's interesting. It's a red. Huh. Two if by C. This is kind of odd to find things like that on fabric. So there's a pretty flower, square. Spread the alarm. Up and two arm, the midnight ride of Paul Revere. So the whole thing is about Paul Revere's ride. Well, that's interesting. Pretty colors. There's a couple of small pieces of that. And another piece. Here's some, um, maybe some unbleached muslin. It's a little whiter, or maybe bleached muslin. Or it's a pillowcase. It's an unfinished pillowcase. Nice fabric and some thin off-white cotton fabric. Maybe I'll copy dye that. Ooh, this is pretty. Tropical print. There's a good size piece of that. I really don't have any way of knowing how old these pieces are. But I'm calling them vintage. Some of them are obviously vintage. This one is kind of Looks like, it feels like it has some sort of sizing because it's a little stiffer. It's not stiff stiff, but it's stiffer than a soft cotton. So it's probably a curtain fabric. Again, it looks rather tropical. And this feels like, oh, it's kind of like a light blue chambray fabric. Can you tell? There's quite a good size piece of that.
piece of lavender. This I'll just keep. It's not big enough to cut up and divide. And I like it. <coughs> it's a muslin. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, can't wait to get these things in the washing machine. Oh. And some good weight of white fabric. Oh, I like this. This is a heavier fabric. Not heavy, heavy, but it's heavier than a, just a light cotton. And I like the pattern on it. It's pretty cute. We're getting there. And we have this stripey fabric. It's kind of sheer. Some denim pieces. They will make good journal covers especially if you can embroider on them. Uh, more of that polyester, light blue polyester. I know that Gina likes to use the printed polyester in her journals, but I really am interested in what you would do with the polyester if you had it, especially in the solid. This is a cross between a khaki tan and a khaki green. It's a weird color. And another piece of that sheer stripey fabric. And this feels like more curtain material. Yeah, in fact, it's already got, I think it was a curtain. Somebody cut it up. It's already hemmed and edged. This end is cut. This, I don't know, this looks like 80s to me. And another piece of curtain fabric with these big tropical leaves. I like this color, but it's polyester again. And some more denim and a cotton knit. I don't know what I would do with that either as far as junk journals go. That does it. That's all that I got. That's everything. I shouldn't say that's all I got because it's a lot, but that's everything. So I'm going to start a load of wash and get some of these things washed and I'm going to get to work on a journal. Um, I've said that I'm going to list some of this stuff in my shop and I will, but for the next week or two I have to focus on getting journals made. I do have some supplies that I want to list and I've been working on getting them sorted and packaged so I may be able to list some of them um, this week or next week but these things probably won't be for a couple weeks at least so let me see let me know what you think about this haul that I found today of all the fabrics and all the old recipes just tell me what you think of them and um, um, watch for them in my shop if it's something that you're interested in Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.